Hello. So we've got a vehicle in so big it won't fit in our barn. Ready? <laughs> Look at it. This is an overlander, this is a death. Just go anywhere in the world type vehicle. And it is a beast and it's gonna be an incredibly awesome setup. Look at the steps that come out of it. So yes, this is gonna be an incredible build. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Here we go. Kitchen's gonna be here. I guess this is a bathroom. It's a massive bathroom. Uh, it's even got a washing machine. The bed's gonna be there, I see him, probably a seating area. Massive fridge, freezer. And the electrics are gonna be incredible. Big 48 volt truck, so it's gonna have a 48 volt system. A couple of converters to run down things to 12 volt. The electrics are actually gonna go in his back cupboard on the other side. It's full, full Victron kit, including Victron batteries. Two 330 amp hour Victron batteries. It's, it's wicked system. It's gonna be cool. And this is where it's going. In this hatch, it's gonna go on this wall here. And maybe on, the, on this wall here a bit, but yeah, hopefully mostly on that. Got a big inverter to fit. A lot of solar. I think there's two 360s and two 305 panels. So a lot of solar trying to squeeze on there. It's gonna be good. Stay tuned. is where the team are at. Matt and Liz and Chris are working on this van. It's looking pretty smart. Are you happy, Matt? Very so far. It's looking pretty. It's looking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's my phrase, I coined it. So we've got the, tw it's a 24 volt system. So we've got the 24, three KVA multi plus two. We've got two 24 to 24, 17 amp chargers. So these will charge the leisure battery when the engine's on. We've got a solar charge controller for the solar that's going on. And we've got another solar charger controller because we've got two, four panels. Two are going in one, two are going in the other. This is a converter. This is going to take the 24 volt, take it down to 12 volt so we can run 12 volt appliances. There we've got the servo, which is the brain. It's going to control and monitor the whole system using the touch screen. Or you can view it on your phone, or we can log in remotely wherever you are in the world and log in, change settings, tweak things, make sure it's all working as efficiently as possible. And because these are Victron batteries, we need they don't have built-in BMS, so we need an external BMS because Victron do things all modular. So this is the Link Smart BMS. It's a battery monitor and it's a battery management system. So it can turn the battery, protect, protect the battery basically, turn it on and off at cold voltage, low voltage, high voltage, cold temperature, hot temperature. It can just sort of look after these batteries because these batteries are not cheap. So you need a BMS to protect these Victron batteries. Oh, I'm talking a lot, I'm talking very fast. Okay, that's what we're up to at the minute. So on to solar, it's going to have, how many watts of solar is total is going on this van? 1,330. 1,330 watts of solar. That's two 360 watt panels and two 305 panels, correct? Yes. That's a lot of solar. Have a look at this photograph, you can see how it looks. We've just offered it up on the roof, measured it all up, and now we've brought it into the workshop to attach all the feet. Now if you haven't already seen it, I'll put a card up the top here, you can go and click on that. That's a video on how we install solar panels. I'm not gonna go through that again because we've already got a video out. If you wanna know how to bond solar panels correctly, go and watch that video. So just gonna fit these, well Natalie's gonna fit these brackets, cut them down to size, fit these brackets, and then tomorrow we're gonna fit them all. 
onto the roof. That's the plan. So this install is probably going to be one of our best. So I'm look, really, look, really looking forward to seeing how this looks in the van. So that's going to be tomorrow's first job. Everybody's made four different boards or things to go in the van. This is two of them. This is the main gubbins. Looking at it upside down right now. We've got another board here with switches and ducting. It'll all make sense when it's in the van. That's what uh, they've made today. Chris made this amazing battery tray for these two massive Victron lithium batteries. But look at the, look how smart that battery tray looks. So there's that, and then there's another board with the inverter on. So looking forward to seeing how this looks tomorrow. And then Natalie's been working on the solar, which is also gonna go on tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is where we're up to right now. Obviously it looks a mess because <laughs> it's midway through the job. But yeah, as you can see, the board's going in. It's going to look amazing. We've got some consumer units going on this wall. The batteries are going below. We've got another board that we've made, or well, the guys have made here with some isolation switches. It's going to look amazing. Um, we've got a couple of finishing touches, which we don't normally do, but we're going to try and do a couple of finishing touches. We'll make it look really small. All right. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. Hey, you ready? Good, Chris. Yeah, I'm. I'm on my line here. If you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Keep on my fingers. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You just Give that corner, oh no, I think that's there, but yeah, give that no, corner a little bit sharp. Down to you? Yeah. All right, I'm bang on my line here. We good? Yeah, okay. seems that way. Okay, push. Push away. Okay, I'm gonna go this in, this, this line, you do your corner, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, I need to come towards me about an inch. No? Oh, okay. Oh, I've got a mark here. This is not the mark then. No. Oh, no, no. No? Okay. No, we'll be batting them up against each other. I'm happy. I'm on the pencil Definitely. mark. Parallel? Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, we're good. We're okay, good? Push. So, everything. I'm going to have to raise my voice because it's windy here. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, but. Solar's all on. Junction box. Oh, that wind is. <sighs> Show you where we're up to. Liz is very crammed. It's <laughs> Are you comfy in there, Liz? Not in the slightest. She's doing a fantastic work in there. We will show you that in a mo. Right, so the customer had this custom made entry point for the solar, which is this. We've had to modify it ourselves to get all the cables in and we'll wait, we've got some... <laughs> this, this isn't the most professional way of doing it, but we wanted to put some weight on it for a few hours so it goes off, so the ladder's resting on it. Um, yes, we do have bricks in a bucket, putting some weight on that to hold that onto the roof. And we've also got a brick on top, weighed it down, just why that OB1 goes off. So the idea is that there's no, uh, there's no holes that we've made on the roof of the van, only on the side, inside here. So it, it limits the chance of any water going in because everything on the roof is bonded. The solar panels, that is bonded. And all solar cables are going into here. So if one of the panels breaks, you can isolate them all here. I'll put a picture on the screen now so you can see all the connections are inside here. So everything is bonded and there's no holes made on the roof of this vehicle. So even if water got into these boxes, there's no way for it to get into the vehicle. But there is the solar. They look the same size, but they're not. They are 360 watts each, and these are 305 watts each. All right, and here's where we're looking up. Very soon, 
So there's a couple of little touches, which I will show you in a bit. A couple of nice little above and beyond touches that I will show you in a bit. Let's go inside. And there's Natalie working hard. Hi. <laughs> I guess this is the shower bathroom at the front, right? So. Escape hatch into the cab. And I guess this is gonna be the bathroom. Kitchen. Nice big oven. This is a proper living space. This is like a, you can get apartments smaller than this. Nice big fridge. I guess this is a seating area here. And the bed. And this is the massive cables coming in from the roof. How many have we got? Six, is it six? Six cables. Four runs of solar, two runs of three mil twin. They're all going to be running down here. The customer's going to sort out some kind of trunk in for them to live in. Straight into there where all the electrics are underneath. There. We're there, finally there. So what we got? Yeah, look at our little finishing touches. Chris made a really nice routed frame for our little blue fix sign. Start that on. He's also made us a nice little 45 degree angle for this wood, for these lights to go on. So these uh, make it look all pretty and blue when it's all dark. It looks really, really smart. What else, anyway, what, what we got going on here? So the batteries, these are Victron Energy 330 amp hour. 12 volt batteries together in series to make 24 volts so that's 660 amp hours at 24 volts it's a huge battery We've got main isolators for the entire system we call this the oss switch i won't tell you what that stands for but it's a main main <laughs> kill switch for if there's an emergency or if you want to work on the system We've got two more isolation switches up here for two fuse boxes he's got in inside the van one is 12 volt one is 24 volt we convert the, the 24 volt down to 12 volt by using this Orion here, 24 to 12, as a power supply. We've got the LinkSmart BMS, because the Vict Victron batteries don't have built-in battery management systems, so you need to have a LinkSmart BMS, which does the protection of these batteries. Um, so for low voltage, high voltage, temperature, etc. It bolts nicely onto the Lynx distributor, which has got four fuses in there for all, all of the uh, chargers and inverters We've got a fuse in there as well on the roof we've got how many watts natalie 1330 watts of solar in total two panels go through the 30 amp two panels go through the 20 amp mppt right at the top we have got two 24 to 24 volt 17 amp orion chargers so when the engine's on they will be charging these batteries 17 amps each in the middle we've got a Ruby. this is a temperature sensor which communicates with the servo and that turns on one of the relays based on a certain temperature and behind these two chargers we've got two big fans cooling down the back of the Orion so the more the cooler they are the more efficient they are so those fans will come on I think at 27 degrees and off at 26 so they'll keep them working much more efficiently we've also got the 24 volt 3 kVA Multi plus two, so this is going to turn all this 12 volt power into 240 mains power, so he can run. Uh, he's got a washing machine in here, <laughs> which he's going to run off of that, and any mains powered stuff that he wants to run is off that. We've got a couple of consumer units here. One is for the solar; you can isolate the solar coming down, and this is for your 240, all the 240 breakers that you need. So the team's done a fantastic job with this, really pleased with it. It's uh, very, very neat, very happy with it. I think it's probably one of our best installs, if not the best. So we're always getting better and finding ways to improve, but we like it. What do you think? Let me know what you think about this. There we are.